back by, I guess we could say popular demand, friend of the program now, <laughs> Mr. Jerry Gibbons, who's going to help lead us today. And with that, I'm going to let you go ahead and take it away, Jerry, and thanks for joining us. You're so welcome. Thank you, Mike, and everybody at Aptus Court Reporting for having me back for another Wellness Wednesday. Um, today, we are going to do chair yoga, as Mike mentioned, and I want to give you just like a little bit of understanding about what chair yoga is um, before we get started, and that classically chair yoga was developed for people who um, are limited in their mobility, and so these are stretches that were developed so that they could have a yoga experience, that they could take care of themselves and their bodies, and um, still access some level of wellness. And then uh, several years ago, I, along with some other people, I'm not, I'm not gonna take all the credit here for this, is I adapted those same techniques to really look at like, what do people who sit at desks all day, who sit down all day need? Um, kind of chair bound in a different way, <laughs> if you will. And so I understand from personally working in, in offices and in corporations, and then also like seeing a lot of clients and students, what the tension points are basically from sitting a lot. So things like, you know, back pain in your lower back, especially tight hamstrings at the backs of your legs, tight quadriceps, tops of the thighs. There's a lot of shoulder and neck tension, a lot of craning forward. And so these techniques that I'll share today help to counterpose sitting, even though we'll be seated the entire time. And the idea with all of these is that if you like something, if it feels good to you, if it feels good to you, you can um, write it down or you can take note of it in your mind and you can just do these whenever it feels good for you. So that's, that's my goal for you today is just to maybe learn a couple of techniques that you can add to your daily repertoire to alleviate any tension, stress, or discomfort that comes from sitting down a lot, all right? So we're gonna start just by going inward for just a moment. So sit tall in your chair. By the way, the only thing you need is a chair. I'm using a dining room chair, but any, any old chair will do. And you'll sit tall. You can sit toward the back of your chair if you'd like to, and just, if it feels comfortable, close your eyes for a moment. It's likely that you've been working today, that things have been going on. There's a lot of movement, either externally or internally. So let's just watch the breath for a few moments. So feeling the breath or sensing the breath in your nostrils. Maybe sensing the movement of your breath in your body, the chest and rib cage expanding as you inhale. And all of that relaxing as you exhale. Just allowing that movement from the outer or internal world to become a little more focused. Just aware of the breath, a couple more deep breaths. And then take a deeper, fuller breath. And allow your awareness to come back. Sometimes that's all you need too, is just a couple moments to track your breath. Just a reminder if you're unmuted to please mute yourself. Thank you. There's somebody unmuted. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to sit on the edge of your chair. So scooting forward so that you're still stable, like you're not like falling forward, but that you're not so far back toward the, the, the back of your seat. And then you're gonna have your knees about hip width apart and then have your ankles stacking underneath your knees so that you can do things like fold forward without falling forward. Good. And relax your arms down by your side. And with your next inhale, sweep your arms out to the side, reach the arms overhead, looking up slightly, and then exhale, release your arms down. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. And exhale, release the arms down. We'll do a few more of those. Inhale, reaching up, feeling some extension in your spine, the sides of the body. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach. 
Exhale, release. One more time. Good. Now for this next one, we're gonna do some arm lifts again, but we're gonna make it a bit more dynamic and we're gonna be folding forward. So if you're close to your desk, just slide back a little bit if you can so that you can fold forward without knocking your head on anything, all right? So arms down by your side. When you're ready, inhale, lift the arms overhead. And with your exhale, think about hinging from your hips and just fold forward over your legs, arms toward the floor. Then inhale, sweep the arms out to the side and reach back up as you come back to a tall seat. Good, let's do that again. Exhale, folding forward, going as far as you can comfortably. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back up. We're gonna do a couple more, moving with your breath. This is helping to both stretch and strengthen your lower back, along with warming up the shoulders. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding down. Let's do two more. Two more sounds good. Good, inhale, reaching up. And this time, stay tall. Just release your arms down to your side. And feel sensation for a moment. We've done some movement for the lower back, the spine in general. Shoulders have been moving around a bit. I always like to take a moment to find out like what happened here, how are we feeling? <laughs> Good, and then we're gonna do another exercise with the arms. So go ahead and lift your arms overhead and interlace your fingers and then press the palms away from your head. And you're gonna reach through the wrists. Now this is gonna to help to create extension in your spine. So reach really far with the wrists. And what happens sometimes is that when we reach through the arms, that we kind of like start to back bend in our lower back. I'm gonna ask you to try not to do that. So you can actually feel the navel pull back towards your spine slightly, flattening the lower back. You can also think about the tailbone tucking under. And this allows the extension to be a little bit more controlled. So reach. Good, inhale, reach. And exhale, release the arms down. That engagement of the navel and the tailbone tucking under actually helps to strengthen your core as well. We're gonna do an ex another version of that last exercise. So reach the arms overhead again, please. Interlace the fingers and press them away from your head. Good, now again, navel to spine, tail tucks under, and then just tilt to your right slightly. Not far enough that you fall over, but just to give some space along the left rib cage and take some deep breaths. Good, then inhale, come back up. Exhale here. Make sure the core is engaged. Go ahead and tilt to the left. Again, only far enough that you don't fall over. One more breath. And then inhale, come up. And exhale, release the arms on down. Good. That shoulder movement, and of course, like the arms creating circulation there, but that shoulder movement really helps to alleviate any tension from the upper back excessively rounding. Okay, next exercise. This time I'm gonna have you take your feet a little bit wider than your shoulders, or the knees a little bit wider than your shoulders. And again, the feet stacking directly underneath the knees. So when you lean to a side or the other that you're not just gonna fall over, okay? It's still sitting on the edge of your seat because there's so much suspe uh, suspense here. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and take your right elbow or forearm down onto your right thigh, kind of leaning over. Good, and then inhale, sweep your left arm up and over, looking up if you can. Good, we're gonna stay here for just a few breaths, feeling length along the left side of your torso. Now a couple of micro adjustments here. Sometimes when we reach, we start to roll forward. If that's happening for you, think about rolling the left shoulder back as if you're trying to open the chest toward the ceiling. The next micro adjustment is to think about your left hip bone. Sometimes when we reach, we start to lift up off that bone. 
try to ground it down to the floor. So it's almost like you're re uh, stretching in both directions. The left hip is grounding, the right fingertips are reaching, and the left shoulder is rolling back. And please breathe if you haven't taken a deep breath in a little bit. Good, one more breath here, reach. And then go ahead and come back up to a tall spine. Feel sensation. We've worked asymmetrically with that last one. So just notice the difference between the two sides, kind of like a before and after shot. And it probably makes you really want to do the other side. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. So go ahead and take your left forearm down onto your left thigh or knee, just leaning over. And then inhale, reach your right arm up and over, reaching through the fingertips. And again, the same micro adjustments as the first side. So rolling the right shoulder back, reaching through the fingertips, ground the right hip down, and breathe. Feeling big length along the right side of your rib cage, abdomen, reaching in both directions, and taking deep breaths. Let's do one more breath. Good, and inhale, come all the way back up. We roll the shoulders back and forward a couple times. Okay, now if you've gone to normal yoga classes, you probably experience like yoga flows or sun salutations. The cool thing is we can do that in a chair as well. All right, so we're gonna do similar exercises that we've already done and just kind of blend them together with the breath. All right, so we're gonna do those laterals and then some forward folding. So just follow along, all right? Inhale, lift your arms overhead. Exhale, bring your right forearm down onto your leg. And then inhale, sweep the left arm overhead, coming into the lateral posture, reach. And then come back to a tall seat, reach the arms overhead. We're gonna fold forward, so hinge from the hips, lead with the heart as you come down. Inhale, come all the way back up. And exhale, take your left forearm down, take your right arm back. And then inhale, reach the right arm overhead, lateral stretch. And then exhale, come back to a tall seat. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, come all the way back up, strengthening the lower back. Exhale, take the right forearm down, left arm back. Inhale, reach the left arm overhead. Exhale, tall spine. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way back up, strong back. Exhale, left arm down. Inhale, sweep, sweep the right arm up and over. Then exhale, come back to a tall spine. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way back up. Good, right elbow down. Left arm reaching up and over, inhale. Exhale, back to a tall spine. Inhale, reach up. Fold forward, all the way up. Good, left elbow down. Right arm sweeps up and over, inhale. Exhale back, tall spine, reaching up, inhale. Folding forward. Inhale all the way up. We're gonna do one more time on each side, all right? Take the right elbow down. Left arm up and over. Exhale, return. Inhale, reach up. Folding forward, hinge from the hips. Lead with the heart. Inhale, come all the way back up. Left elbow down. Good, sweep the right arm up and over. Then come back to a tall spine. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. 
stay tall, release the arms down to your thighs. And just feel sensation with the eyes open or closed. Just notice what's happening in the body. Maybe you start to feel some heat from that movement. And then taking a deeper breath. All right, so we've moved the spine from side to side, and now we're gonna do some more flexing of the spine. So I'm gonna turn sideways, but I'll have you keep facing forward. You're gonna bring the feet, um, or the knees, I should say, about hip distance apart again, feet stacking underneath the knees. So I'm turning sideways just so you can see what my spine is doing. Again, you can keep facing in the direction you're in right now. But with the hands resting on the thighs, with the inhale, roll the shoulders back, look up with your chest. With your exhale, round the shoulders forward, widening the shoulder blades, feeling the upper back widen. Then inhale, open back up again, lift the heart. Exhale, round the shoulders forward, feel the back open, the upper back that is. Inhale, open, exhale, round. And keep going, inhale, open, exhale, round. And what you may notice, at least in my spine, <laughs> is that I'm not creating a lot of movement in my lower back. The movement is really happening from the mid back up to the neck. My lower back is staying pretty steady. It might sway a little bit, but what I mean is that we're taking this flexion of the spine into the upper spine, creating some mobility in the chest, the shoulder blades, the neck, maybe even relieving some tension in the head. Let's do a few more. And then inhale, open the chest toward the ceiling, let's stay. Squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. And let's take some deep breaths. And then go ahead and round the back, mid back, sorry, upper back really, reaching toward the ceiling. Deep breaths, feeling the shoulder blades widen with those inhales. And then bring yourself up to a neutral spine, allow the shoulders to relax down. Good. All right, feeling good, next one. <laughs> All right, so this next one is a shoulder release, and it's one of my favorites. It's not the most comfortable. I'm gonna preface with that, but we're gonna breathe through it, all right? So go ahead and lift your left arm overhead, and then drop the left hand behind your head. With your right hand, reach up and grab the elbow, the left elbow, and traction or pull it toward the midline of your body, toward the center line of your body. Good. Now this is a big shoulder stretch here. The hand that's floating behind you, that left hand, you're gonna bring that toward your spine. Now when you do that, sometimes the back rounds. So what you have to do is you have to lift the, the chest, lift the heart. And then just breathe, breathe. Now I know for per from personal experience and then hearing from other people as well, that again, this is not the most comfortable posture to be in, but I'm gonna ask you to stay with the discomfort if you can, because the longer we hold this, better the release in the shoulder is. So it might feel like there's some pinging happening in the shoulder joint. It might even feel like the arm is falling asleep. I've been doing this for years. No arms have fallen off yet, so I think that yours will stay intact. And stay just for a few more breaths, okay? Keep the heart lifting. Good. All right. So gently release that left arm, slowly allowing it to lower down and just feel sensation in the shoulder girdle, maybe some warmth or circulation back into the arm, into the hand. It might feel tingly. Hmm. 
Mm. Now I can see from watching myself on camera <laughs> that my left shoulder, the one we just we just uh, worked, is actually dropped lower than my right shoulder. My right shoulder is just slightly higher. And so because of that, and I'm assuming that might be the case for you, we probably should do the other side so we don't walk out of here all, all lopsided. So go ahead and lift your right arm up now, doing the other side. Drop the right hand behind your head. Reach up with the left hand, grab the elbow. And again, pull it toward the center line of your body as much as you can. Good. Now the right hand behind you, that comes toward your spine. And then lift the chest. And then we start to feel into this stretch. Now I'm reminded as I do my right side, because I'm right-handed, that whatever side is your dominant side is probably going to feel more. <laughs> There's just going to be more sensation there. It took me a moment on the left side to really feel something, and then I immediately felt the stretch on this right side. So take deep breaths, even when it feels a little bit uncomfortable, or even a lot of bit uncomfortable. And again, the longer we hold it, the better the release in the shoulder, the deeper the release is going to be. And stay for just another few breaths, not too much longer. Good, all right. So again, don't drop it quickly. Just slowly release that right arm down, feeling sensation in the shoulder girdle, the arm, the hand, sense of circulation and tingling, warmth. Mm. My shoulders feel a lot better now. <laughs> and again, I'm looking at myself on camera right now. I can see that they're back to their normal, even plane. So job well done. Good job, everybody. OK, next we're going to do a twist. So you're going to keep the feet stacking underneath the knees, about hip width apart. And with your inhale, lift your arms overhead, feeling length in the spine. With your exhale, take your right arm forward. Take your left arm behind you and twist. Good. So a couple of points here to, to stay in the posture. Your right hand is reaching and holding on to the left side of your left thigh. Spine is tall. And I'm holding on to the back of my chair with my, with my hand. And that's just helping me to twist a little bit deeper here. So let's take a couple of breaths. Looking behind you if it's comfortable. Good. As you inhale, lift the arms overhead again as you come back to center. And then we're going to go in the other direction. So take your left arm forward to the outside of your right thigh. Your right arm or hand comes onto the chair behind you and looking behind you. Feel length in the spine as you inhale, sitting up a little bit taller. With your exhale, draw the right shoulder back a little bit further. Deep breaths, even in the twist. Good. Come out, lift the arms overhead again, and release your arms down. Good. We're just going to do two more exercises, all right? One of them, actually both of them we've done before. It's just kind of like this cooling off process. So lift the arms overhead again, interlace the fingers, and press the palms away from your head, reaching through the wrists. Now again, when we do this, sometimes we take that all into our lower back and we start to flex in the spine and the lower back. So feel the, the navel pull back toward your spine and feel the tailbone tuck under a little bit, the core engaged. And let's take just a few breaths into this extension. Good, reach up, inhale. 
And with your exhale, break the hands apart and fold forward over your legs, your arms reaching toward the floor. Your chin can tuck under slightly here. And we'll just take a few breaths here into this forward fold. One more breath. And then inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a strong back. Come all the way back up, reach overhead. And exhale, bring your hands down onto your thighs. So if it's comfortable for you, close your eyes for just a moment. And feel just how it feels to be in your body. We've moved a lot. We've stretched a lot. We've breathed a lot. How does it feel now? No expectation that it has to be better than before, but just noticing what is. Maybe it feels like there's more capacity for your breath. Maybe any tension you've been holding, maybe in your lower back or your shoulders and neck, feels a little less heavy. Maybe you feel lighter, more energized. And taking a deeper, fuller breath. Slowly allow the eyes to open, bringing your awareness back to the space around you. Thank you so much for sharing and chair yoga with me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope this has been helpful for you. Again, if you liked any of these techniques, maybe write them down or remember them in your body and revisit them whenever it feels healing or cathartic to do so. Have a great afternoon, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Thank you. You're so Thank welcome. Thank you, Gary. My pleasure. That was awesome. Thank you. I loved it. Thank Yay. you, Gary. <laughs> My <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you much. You're so welcome. Yeah. You're welcome, everybody, putting uh, messages in the chat. Glad to have you here. Hmm. I will say, Jerry, I feel like being at home and like not downtown, my normal office environment and my standing desk that I've been, you know, sitting a lot more and moving a lot less than normal. So this is like a fantastic reminder that I can still do that, even if I'm, you know, typing away and, and stuck in a, you know, at my kitchen <laughs> table versus my standing desk. So thank you very much. You're so welcome. And you're right. That's such a great reminder that you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at all the messages, I have to go up to my, my phone to see it. Thank you, everybody. Aw. Great. Helped calm your nerves. Had too much coffee. Great. <laughs> this helped with that. <laughs> All right. Have a great, great afternoon, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye, Jerry. Bye. More messages coming through. Great, I'm glad it was relaxing. <laughs>